Okay, today we're going to try and play with Hubo, I guess is how you'd pronounce that. Um, somewhere in the box I saw 2001, I'm looking here now, there's four AA batteries, maybe it was in the booklet. As you can see it was a uh, window display box, interactive fun. I swing my arms, I walk forward, I walk backwards. This is a biped walking robot. There are no wheels or ratchets on the bottom of the feet. It shifts its uh, body weight. It's got uh, lead eyes, it's got ear sensors, light sensor in the front, battery pack. It's got a very uh, complicated manual that has a lot of information in it and at the same time doesn't tell you much. It uh, makes things confusing because you don't know if they're talking about left and right buttons based on the robot's point of view of left and right or the person who's looking at the toy and trying to play with its point of view of left and right. The first problem we have is the instructions tell you to remove the screw to take this plastic cover off so that you can put the four AA batteries in the robot. And uh, the screw, I don't know if there'll be enough light to see up in there. I guess not. Let me try turning the light on on the camera. See if we can illuminate it. You see up, uh, up in there? That's some sort of star drive. It's not a normal Phillips. And a flat blade will lock into it, but won't turn it. In other words, the only screw that the consumer needs to be able to take out on this thing is a screw that won't come out. So basically I had to pry and bend the plastic up and then just rotate the cover up out of the way to get the batteries in. Now all the screws that actually hold the toy together, if you want to take it apart, they're Phillips screws. So go figure. The only one you can't, uh, can't take out that you need to take out. So um, here's an example of what it's talking about. I mean, you have one line that's telling you to push the left button, head button. There's also ear buttons and then right head buttons. And then from then on, it doesn't make it clear whether you're talking left or right and which is which. And up here where they show it, they just group the two buttons together and call them left and right buttons. And it's very, uh, it makes it very confusing to try to figure out how to control this thing. Because then it starts talking about using like the right button to do specific things. This goes on and on and on. It's uh, how many pages we got here? 19 pages of instructions for different modes. I uh, wasn't being able to get it to do anything other than flash these lights for the longest time. And then I think I tried this ear button and both head buttons. And I can't get it to do anything now. I should have turned the video camera on then because it was walking and stuff. Has has a reset button up here in the top of the head, which I just pushed with the only pointy thing I had laying around my end of my little oiler. I didn't put any oil in there. Let's try pushing these buttons again. Okay, so we got it walking, so you can actually see the biped walking action. Because he'll walk forward and it'll walk backwards. He's doing kind of a little dance. And he does it by shifting his body weight. So I've got a feeling that the robot works if I was only able to understand the instructions of how to make all the other things controlled. There's supposed to be a light sensor here so that you can make it walk or react. Um, electronic sounds, it keeps referencing in the, in the book. Awakening. So I can press either button or the ear button to wake him up. He will move around and make a few noises. So he hasn't made any noises yet. So it may not be 100% uh, Recharging. 
Instead of a cup of coffee, Hugo no needs for you to shake him up and down for 15 to 20 times to recharge his batteries. He will make a sound to let you know he is charging. Okay. Yeah, that's about 20 times. I didn't hear any sound. Makes a sound that, uh, when he's halfway charged and a third sound when he's fully charged. And he's got different moods. Here it talks about his angry mood. And uh, normal mood. Happy mood. Lonely. Hmm. Seems like it's quite a sophisticated uh, toy. Commands. Oh, let's take a look at commands. The way in which you respond to any of your commands depends on which mood he's in. Hmm. Press either of his head buttons or his left ear button to request a response. Clap your hands or make a loud sound close. Uh, where am I? Close to the back of Hugo's head to tell him to advance. Keep making noise until to tell Hugo to keep advancing. Hmm. So poke anything and then So, am I not uh, reading the instructions correctly? Touch the light sensor on Hubo's chest once or wave your hand about one or two inches in front of the sensor once to tell Hubo to advance. Well, let's try blocking the light sensor. Yeah, you see? I'm just not sure if he's 100% working. There could be some sort of uh, problem with his electronic brains. But the good news is, the part that I wanted to see, I wanted to see the biped walking action. Didn't really care about the moving arms. They have ratchets in them. You can move them back free that way, but they'll lock up uh, forward, which is kind of cool. Keeps you from breaking anything. And no, there doesn't appear to be any on-off switch on the robot that I've been able to find. When the batteries are in it, it's ready to go. I guess it's supposed to go into a sleep mode. But uh, no on-off switch. So I'll just be taking the batteries out of this puppy. But if you've got a Hubo or Hubo, however you're supposed to pronounce it, and you know how to work it, leave a comment down below. Or if you have one and you know that, in fact, this one is not working right and that I was doing things right, leave a comment down below. I don't know. I haven't uh, looked on YouTube to see if there are any uh, videos of Hubo. There may be. Let's see if there was a date or anything in this, uh, in this book. Maybe on the last page, huh? Not on the last page. Had a 90-day limited warranty. Had uh, phone numbers and stuff to call. Don't send your unit to them, though. They don't want it back. They got rid of it. Nothing there. Um, down in the bottom of this box, there was a sales receipt from when I bought it. That's where I got the date from. So, oh look, he's gone dark. So it does kind of auto shut down eventually. So then what, poking any button will wake him up? Zero didn't do it. Yeah, that one sort of did something. So let's uh, push the ear and both buttons again. No. Nope. So you got three mechanical buttons, you've got a light sensor, and you got a sound sensor. 
Between all those, you're supposed to be able to make him do all these wonderful things. Well, it's beyond me.